What's going on everybody? It's Dr. Weaver here with another lab review and this time I'm going to be showing you guys how to isolate DNA from any living thing using household ingredients. What I'm going to be showing you guys how to do is mash up fruit. Fruit is awesome because it has lots of cells, they're easy to break open, and we get lots of visible DNA from them. So we're going to be following the same basic principles that laboratories all over the world use to isolate large quantities of the genetic instructions of an organism, and when you look at it, it looks like goop. That's DNA for you. You could use vegetables and put them in a blender, but the easiest thing to start out is using fruit. I have a strawberry, orange, and banana. We are going to be isolating DNA from these using some ingredients that you find around the house. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get some dish soap, add a little salt in it, and water. This is going to be a great job at breaking down the cell membranes and the nuclear membranes of the cell. We're going to dilute it with some water along with the fluids inside the fruit, and I have in this bottle some ice-cold rubbing alcohol. So what you want to do is you take a piece of fruit and you put it in a Ziploc bag and then you take about 10 milliliters of a dilute solution of soap and salt water. The dish soap actually does a great job at breaking down the cell membranes of the cell and the nuclear membrane to release the DNA including all sorts of proteins and other cellular contents into the liquid. You got to filter that out so I like to use a piece of cheesecloth or you could use a coffee filter and you separate the chunks from the cell cellular contents by pouring it through, and it works great. You can repeat this process for other fruit. This time I'm going to be using a banana, and next an orange. After you're done filtering comes the most important and crucial step. You need ice cold rubbing alcohol, and you are going to take about 10 milliliters and you are going to pour it ever so slowly down the side of the tube because you don't want to mix it together. You want to create two layers. If you look closely, the alcohol is forming a top layer and the cell contents from inside the fruit is in the bottom. DNA actually wants to be dissolved in the alcohol more than it does the water and soap. You can actually see it bubbling to the top. This is called DNA precipitation. So you wait about five minutes before you collect the DNA and you watch the DNA float to the top. It works pretty well in most fruit. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a wooden stick and or like a popsicle stick and you're going to swirl it around and pretend you're making cotton candy until it all wraps around and then you can take it out and collect it and look at it and it looks awesome. There you have it. DNA. Mm -hmm. 